in Jesus name amen sorry about that guys um, starting your day right devotional it is September the 11th let me make sure yeah September the 11th 2013 it is hump day y'all i just love that commercial with that darn camel <laughs> hump day yes 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 um hold on a minute so okay Today we're going to talk about, yesterday we ended with brace your mind. Okay. Set your hope wholly, unchargeably on the grace, which is divine favor that is coming to you when Jesus Christ the Messiah is revealed. Brace your mind. These little lizards, y'all. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Today is keep a positive as attitude keep a positive attitude keep your foot give your mind to what you are doing when you go as Jacob to sacred Bethel to the house of God for to draw near to hear and obey is better than to give the sacrifice of fools carelessly to ignorant to know that they are doing evil I'm gonna read that again Keep your foot. Keep your foot. Give your mind, and this is in parentheses, give your mind to what you are doing. When you go, and in parentheses, it says, as Jacob to sacred Bethel. When you go to the house of God, for to draw near to hear and obey is better than to, to draw near, hear and obey. It's better than to give the sacrifice of fools. And in parenthesis, it's carelessly. Um, and then it says, too ignorant to know that they are doing evil. Too ignorant to know that they are doing evil. Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. Y'all, I, I forgot my glasses. So if I'm reading kind of stair stutter, it's because I'm trying to focus on the words. Um... And as Joyce writes, people who take a positive attitude and say, I can do it, I am going to do it right now, it is no problem. Everything will work out fine, are wonderful to be around and work with because they tackle things and they get them done. So people that keep a positive attitude no matter what comes up before them are good people to be around you need people with positive attitudes and not always negative and just sour puss and just never be can never say you know really say anything positive no matter what the situation is you know so it's good to be around those type of people so that keep a positive attitude if you put off something you should have done already it will start to threaten you with fear so the longer you hold off on doing something that fear has a chance to set in. You have to face it head on. You have to run your race. Okay. So all of that is being connected. Don't allow an assignment to get out of proportion in your mind. Don't let it overwhelm you. Don't don't overthink it. And sometimes it gets bigger than what it really is. You know. If you get interrupted. Make yourself come back to that task. And finish it up. Never give up. Never just say okay. That's it. I'm not going to even worry about that. But you just keep, you stay focused and you keep pushing on no matter how long it takes. Prime example for me is the other morning I was doing this, my daily devotional. And my husband, he kept having something to say. The phone kept ringing. Um, all kind of things just kept, kept coming up to, you know, well, interruptions. And I could have just gave up and just went and sat and just did something totally different. But no, I just kept trying and kept trying. It, it took me maybe four or five videos, but I actually was able to run them all together. And I said, thank you, Lord. Um, and nothing is so hard that you can't handle it. If you will keep a positive attitude and do it God's way, it will work out. 
that positive attitude is what we need to have, what we got to have. Be positive. I thank my God at all times for you, for you because of the grace. And in parenthesis it says, the favor and spiritual blessing of God which has bestowed on you, on you in Christ Jesus. So that in him, in every respect, you were enriched in full power and readiness of speech. To speak of your faith and complete knowledge and illumination to give you full insight into its meaning. That's 1 Corinthians 4, 1 Corinthians 1, 4 through 5. The word of God says, depart from evil and do good. Seek, inquire, seek, inquire for, and crave peace and pursue. Go means to go after it. So it's saying that you should depart from evil. You should do good. You should continue to seek, inquire for, ask questions and crave peace and pursue peace psalms 34 14 is what that was so if you want to read the entire scripture you go to psalms 34 and 14 do all things without grumbling and fault finding and complaining against god and questioning and doubting among yourselves that's philippians 2 14 be positive get rid of gossiping and complaining Start your day by reading the Bible so that you will know how to speak from the authority of God's word. Spend time listening to God and then tell others what you hear him say. Bring life to whatever situation you face. Being positive. Continue to be positive. Continue to seek God's word so that he can continue to guide you in the right direction. And whatever you get from that, whatever God tells you. Not what we interpret, but whatever God tells you. That's what you speak. That's what you sow. That's what you share with others. So that they may get um, whatever word God is saying to them. Because everybody's situation is not the same. You can tell somebody about something you read that really hit home with you. And you may get one meaning that's for you from God. But somebody else may be in a different situation. And that same scripture, can God can give them something different to help them right where they are so you always share what god has um given you always share um your experiences with god's word and how you can read his word and you can know in your life this is how i can apply this in my life and i can use it not only for my good but maybe someone else's so always always share god's word um the next one is and y'all, I'm reading from August and I'm reading from September because somehow they have the same things and they're connected and um, I'm just using it that way. It's, the next one is called Have a Plan. This is Psalms 119.35. Make me go in the path of your commandments, for in them I delight. Make me go in the path of your commandments, for in them I delight. In the path of God's commandments. So Joyce writes, Go to sleep at night with a plan in your mind for the next day. Don't be vague about what you hope to accomplish. One morning... I was lying in bed with the Spirit of the Lord when the Spirit of the Lord said to me, Stop being ambiguous. The dictionary defines ambiguous as doubtful or uncertain and capable of being understood in two or more possible senses or ways. I'm going to say that again. It means doubtful or uncertain. And capable of being understood in two or more possible senses or ways. Don't be doubt. Don't be double-minded. Don't just wait to see what happens. Wake up with a plan that puts God first in all you do. God's word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. See Psalms 119:105. Talk to Him before you even get out of bed. Ask Him to make clear what you need to achieve today. Yes, Lord make it clear what we need to do today 
what is the what is our destination for today what is our goal what is our plan what is our route what is it that we need to do today what is your plan for today for us we may have a plan but we still have to seek God to make sure that we're on the right track so you always before your feet hit the floor you know when you're halfway awake and you're you're awake but you don't want to be awake I usually say a prayer and I ask God to guide my footsteps may his word send me in the right direction May my mind, my body, my spirit be renewed as I arise this morning. And um, and I go from there. I'm just getting back into doing this. I have a tendency, y'all, and this is one thing when, you know, like I said earlier this week, we're going to, these flies, my word, search ourselves. We're going to confess our sins. We're going to confess our weaknesses. So one of my weaknesses is staying on task, um, completing things that I start, um, being diligent. You know, I have all the best intentions. I have a plan of what I want to do. And sometimes I just get sidetracked and I just let it go. But um, I got to change my mindset. I got to change the things that I do. I got to change um, my thoughts of giving up. And so this is a beginning for me. And I just thank you guys for coming and sharing with me. And I pray that each day that we do this daily devotional, that it helps us to um, continue to search ourselves and to be able to use God's word to be able to go to God and talk to him about our fears and our shortcomings and ask him to continue to guide our footsteps, continue to um, help us in our lives, to show us what it is we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to go and act and speak. He has his word that is our guide. And y'all, me, one of my weaknesses is actually sitting down and reading the Bible because it's like I'm reading and then my mind just drifts off. So... I can use his word in this book. I can't use this book to replace his word, but I like the fact that Joyce has his word and the scripture so that after I do this, I can go back and I can read that over and over and over. And so that it can, um, I can get it down in my spirit to um, help me so that I can remember it and use it the rest of the days of my life. So that is one of my weaknesses of being diligent. Um, and that's not in all things, but things that sometimes seem to, to be tough or um, or aggravating or frustrating. Um, I do it to a certain extent and then I'm through with it. So that is one of my weaknesses that I will confess here on Wednesday that I've got to change. But. I got to seek God and I can't change it by myself. So I have to ask him to help me. He knows my weaknesses. He knows my shortcomings. And I have to go to him and ask for help, even though he knows all of that. But he's not going to make you do um, certain things because if you, if you know that you have this problem, it's up to us to ask. He says, ask and you shall receive. So I'm asking God in Jesus name to help me in the areas that I am weak for I know he makes me strong. He is my strength. And so um, the next thing that we're going to talk about is just that. Seek God wholeheartedly. Seek God wholeheartedly. Seek, inquire of, and for the Lord, and crave him and his strength, his might and flexibility to temptation. Seek and require his face and his presence continually evermore. That's Psalms 105 and 4. If you have a need today, as Joy says, seek God with your whole heart. The Bible says to aim at and seek the rich eternal treasures that are above. This is Colossians 3 and 1. If you seek the fruit of the Spirit wholeheartedly, God will do a work in your life so that you will enjoy the abundant life Jesus died to give to you. God will do a work in your life 
so that you will enjoy the abundant life Jesus died, the abundant life Jesus died to give to you. The reason he died, he died for a reason, guys, so that we could have life. We could have an abundant life. He didn't say that life would be easy, but he has already run our race. We have to run our race. And that is seeking him, holding on to him. We, um, at some point in life, we get a mindset of, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. It's all about us and what we want to do. True enough, we have things that we want to do in life, but not all decisions and thoughts that we have are the right decisions. Not all words that we speak are the right words to speak. So we have to seek God wholeheartedly. And that is without any other motive. You know, not just to say, I'm going to come and pray because I need God to give me another car. Uh, I'm going to go and pray to God because I need him to give me a few thousand dollars because I want to go on this shopping spree. But you got to go to him wholeheartedly for your life, for your spirit, for your blessing, for your guidance. You got to go to him with your whole heart, not just for material things or when things get really, really hard. But on a daily basis, you got to go to him. God, this is the day that you have made. And I ask that you guide me this day, Lord, for you already know what this day holds. And I ask that you continue to guide my footsteps. When you see me falling on track, Lord, I just need that little extra nudge or that whisper in my ear and say, no. Just continue to guide me. Strengthen me, comfort me, uplift me. Cradle me in your arms. Give me peace in this day that you have made in jesus name amen so we seek god wholeheartedly heartily um she also says god promises and the lord shall make you the head and not the tail we are the beginning and not the end okay we are the head and not the tail and you shall be above only and you shall not be beneath if you heed the commandments of the lord your god which i command you this day and are watchful to do them that is deuteronomy 28 13 it says god's promise god promises and the lord shall make you the head and not the tail and you shall be above only and you shall not be beneath if you heed the commandments of the lord your god which i command you this day and are watchful to do them so you heed his word and you be watchful, watchful, diligent, steadfast to do them. You got to seek him wholeheartedly. Um, so we seek him wholeheartedly. We, we're being positive. Um, let's see what we're going to go to next. Um, I think we're going to end with Good morning guys Develop self-control Let's see No, I think we'll wait and do that one tomorrow Um so we did being positive, have a positive attitude, seek God wholeheartedly. Um, um, let's see. Yeah, we'll stop there because tomorrow we're going to talk about, let me save my page, develop self-control, don't be lazy, and eliminate excuses, and God will change you. So guys, I thank y'all for coming this morning, and I just want to end this this daily devotional, this um, 
on this Wednesday, which is hump day, we're in the middle of the week. And I just pray right now in Jesus' holy and precious name that he continue to guide you, that he continue to give you the, his word. He continue to speak to your heart on this day to let you know what his plan is for your life. And, and that he continue to bless you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. And I just thank you guys in Jesus' holy and precious name. I say have a blessed day. Continue to smile and be kind. Even to those that are being mean and hateful, you pray for them. You ask God to help them to see the error of their ways, to change their hearts and their attitudes, and continue to use your words as power. Good words, not negative words. You continue to bless those that you encounter. You continue to strengthen those that you encounter because you could be the answer to somebody's life to somebody doing something that they really don't want to do so you open your heart the same way jesus opened his heart to you on a daily basis he gave us the desires of our heart he gave us some of our wishes some of the things that we want to do not what we have to do so the way that he bless us we can be that same blessing to somebody else. So you guys, just really, really get into your feelings and just think about how much God loves you and all of the beautiful things that he do to you and for you on a second basis, not daily basis, but every second of your life is precious. And so is someone else's. Not everybody in this world is going to think about life that way because it's so easy for people to take life and to to just truly hurt others but god we gotta come together as god's people and we gotta protect each other we gotta uplift each other and we gotta encourage each other and just be that god and light that god has placed us in this world to be i thank y'all once again and i want to send a shout out y'all to my girl doll baby 4400 um i'm sorry i missed your birthday on yesterday um YouTube was just, I don't know, it was with me because I had problems with my internet and, you know, but those are things that, things was happening in my house yesterday. But I want to wish you a very, very, very special week. Uh, may, the, may you be able to celebrate the entire week and not just on that one day. And I pray that God continue to bless you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. I love you, sugar. And you be blessed and you continue to smile and be that encouraging light that we need. Because your struggle, somebody else may not be able to handle. And I enjoy watching you and you are a blessing to our minds, our bodies, and our spirits because we can look at you and see how to persevere when things are going wrong, when every day is not perfect. You still continue to come on here and you continue to smile and you continue to let God's light shine through you. And I just want to say thank you because you encourage me a lot just by watching you teaches me how to be as a woman as God's child no matter what's going on in my household I still can smile and say thank you Lord and I just say thank you once again for being who you are I love you and I send you big hugs and kisses and many blessings you guys be blessed today I love y'all to life and in Jesus name I say in the name of the Father the Son and Holy Spirit y'all we gonna enjoy today because this is the day that the Lord has made I love y'all bye sugar.